Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge Channel. This is your Sailor Basha. So again today something, some video about uh, how to do crankcase inspection for uh, generators. So what are all the checks that we need to do, how we need to do, all those things I will try to give you in a video. So we will go and check the video. Now we are going to do the crankcase inspection for uh, generator. So whenever uh, you need to do crankcase inspection, follow all safety measures before uh, doing the inspection. And I will, I will first do the visual inspection of sump. So glow a torchlight or a hand lamp and uh, see the oil condition of the sump and entablature whether there is uh, any abnormalities and uh, regarding the sump oil you have to check for the emulsification of oil any water content all those things uh, we need to do the check while inspecting sump so once the sump inspection is done the next will be you have to check for the liner condition that is cylinder liner condition how you are going to check the cylinder liner condition so what you need to do is you have to bring the piston to TDC so that you can find a way to inspect the liner surface so you just need to check whether the liner is in good condition whether the lubrication is there whether there is any abnormalities like hot spot and all so we are done with the inspection of cylinder liner and once this cylinder liner condition is checked and then next uh, what we need to do is you have to do the inspection for for the piston so how we can do the piston inspection okay next will be uh, as i said we have to do the piston surface uh, condition inspection so how we have to do that all we need to do is bring the piston to BDC so that uh, you can have the way to find the piston surface so all you need to check is whether uh, there is any abnormalities like score mark any hot spot uh, which is seen on the surface of the piston all those things uh, we have to check just uh, have a, a visual inspection on it just keep a hand and see whether a surface is soft any abnormalities are seen so piston surface condition inspection is done okay so so far we are done uh, inspection visual inspection of sump then we did the visual inspection of piston and piston surface and cylinder liner so next we have to do the floating test for bearings crank pin bearings so how we need to do the floating test all you need to do is take a minus spanner just push the bearing from both the side it have to move in free way like how it is moving now this ensures that the piston the crank pin bearing is not jammed and it is free and it is floating so floating test for crank pin bearing is done so so for we had done almost four points and okay so next will be we have to do the inspection of hydraulic nut whether the marking is match so what is the marking match when you do the tightening we will put a marker match for uh, all the hydraulic nuts so what you need to do is you have to check whether both the match both the marking are in place or not if the marking is shifted that means your nut is tending to get loosened so you have to do the retightening again like uh, i had seen that one for the connecting rod this is the connecting rod nut and uh, the other is crank pin nut so both i had did the marking match checking so once this is done then we have to do the hammer test for 
hydraulic nut i shown you in my last video how to do the hammer test for uh, all the nuts so use a ball type uh, hammer just hit tap on the nut if the nut is loose it will tend to turn never hit on the threaded portion of the nut because it may give you some it may damage the thread and it will leads you to big issues you cannot open the nut so we are done with the hammer test for uh, hydraulic nuts and next uh, again uh, check the lube oil condition on the sump just check it should be free of water and it should be free of any kind of uh, emulsification emulsification means that means uh, some leakage is there so all those things you have to check so yeah the sump oil is in a good condition now uh, this checking is also done okay so once this checking is done next we need to check for the cooling water leakage what is that cooling water leakage if uh, any of your uh, cylinder liner o-ring is gone uh, then it will tends to the water tends to leak in the sump so we have to check for all the unit okay there is no leakage so we are done with this part okay next is we need to check the lube oil flow so how to check the lube oil flow so it is very simple all you need to do is uh, so you need to start the lube oil priming pump so just uh, start the lube oil priming pump so once the priming pump is on all you need to do is we have to just have a look on the lube oil flow on all the units so that uh, you can ensure the lube oil flow is good and it is flowing well in all the units mm, okay now i started the pump so yeah here is the lube oil flow so you can see how the lube oil comes from inside the piston and it cools the piston also again the liner it comes all the way through the crank pin bearing and every every part inside the generator crank is so okay that's all we are done with the crank is inspection for generators so after watching this movie uh, this video you must have got some information about uh, how to do crankcase inspection for a uh, generators uh, please share our channel with your friends subscribe our channel share with uh, all your groups thanks for watching